if I were running for mayor, I would literally make entrepreneurship my focus. I would not probably address any other issue. I'd lose, but I wouldn't address any other issue. It would be sort of the kamikaze mission. The mayor is, is the one that can really set the tone on that kind of issue and really sort of loosen the city's collective uh, aversion to risk. More of a, a, a you know, sort of spreading the word. encourage the kind of legislation, whether mm -hmm. it's supporting the incubators, there's the availability of business loans that would make it possible for the the small entrepreneur with some risk issues around credit. It's difficult um, to start a new business in Philadelphia. I mean, it's if, if anybody has ever gone through the process to get the necessary permits, then you, then once you are an entrepreneur, then you got to pay a business privilege tax and you got to pay your employees a city wage tax. So I think that all of those things have to be addressed too. If you make it more business friendly, mm -hmm more business friendly, I'd like to think that more businesses would come into the city. Let's just say someone someone came out and said, we're going to get rid of the zoning code. The inspiration I think that that would give to entrepreneurs around the country thinking about um, where they're going to locate their business, knowing that Philadelphia had no zoning code, would be a tremendous lure. Bold ideas like that are the kind of things that are going to get people's attention um, and really sort of start, start to change the, the, the sort of tempo in terms of the business environment in the city. My arts organization is in North Philadelphia. We're four blocks west of Temple University. That resource, Temple's University, is not at all as well used for the economic development of that neighborhood as it could be if we focused on that, valued that neighborhood. You know, I can't help but thinking about the people that are already in these neighborhoods and that um, it has to be some sort of dialogue, a stronger dialogue with what those resources are, who are those people and what could they bring to the neighborhood and how could they allow their own neighborhood to grow. Box Chase Cancer Center in the Northeast. Here is a world-class cancer center that four or five Nobel laureates here in the city. People come there for treatment all the time and whether or not they stay in the city and expand on a couple acres of parkland. To me that's a that's a big picture issue and that's taken years to resolve and on the on, on the small picture issue having uh, you know an expedited section in L and I and somebody who's had the experience to see both things and so you need somebody who has that sens sensitivity to the different scales of government